Good morning, everybody. This is your girl, Bella J. It is Sunday morning chit chat, and we're back. A new day and a new week. So, yes, I still have some coffee in here. Let me drink the last little bit of this. That was good. It is Sunday again. It is raining here in the city. And I. before we get forward on this, I want to thank Samira for her suggestion. Although, Samira, I would like you to interact here on the YouTube channel so that way everyone can interact with you. I want you to join in on the fun and chime in and, and give your suggestions here so that everyone can see what you're telling me as far as ideas. She, she suggested that this be a curtain. And I agree with her. Um, I This is how the little artwork that we did the other day turned out. It really is nice. However, it takes 72 hours to dry and I do have a kitten in the house. So in order for me to paint that, it would take some days and I would have to literally try to keep them out of my room and that is a challenge so it will be done section by section so what I am thinking is to just leave it with this white curtain and maybe put a black a back black like a backdrop right here on the sheerness to offset it and cover that window up because as you see that's not there's no light outside that's just the way it comes in and I don't know what to say so let me know yes Samira's a sweetheart I just want her to come in on the channel I like that she emails me but I want her to interact with everybody else I love the interaction between all my guppies I love you all and it is amazing I was cleaning yesterday so as I was filming even though I was filming my and all that it, I was in the midst of cleaning that's what I was and I was getting rid of some stuff as well it is I threw away a big bag of garbage not really big but now I have more of this in here it's funny I got this from one of my samples and when I opened it up one of my ipsy bags or I don't know which one it smells I didn't even really get to use it it stinks it really stinks and with makeup this is an eyeshadow from pop smells old I never got to use this never it says bright up your life eyeshadow trio and smoking hot it's not even worth it um, I was into the max fix plus I don't find this to be the best setting spray at all I just think is more of a prep and prime so when you use fix plus a prep and prime for your face I don't agree with why would you use it after the fact this is the prep and prime so I'm just not understanding the lingo here on YouTube I want a setting spray and I did have the urban decay from with Scandinavia in it from Scandinavia I had the urban decay setting spray loved it as well and I also I told you all that I used up a Milani this is it this is a used up Milani make it last setting spray excellent 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 so I do have an empty here. And you can always repurpose this because of the way it is. You could put some conditioner in here. You can make your own prep and prime water and literally use it as well. You could do the same thing with this. These are repurposable. I just don't see why I would use prep and prime for my setting spray. It just doesn't make sense. A setting spray is what it is. To set it and let it go. So that's something to think about. I did fall on the bandwagon with some of the things of um, that people said on here or recommended on YouTube. I wanted to try it out for myself. And it took a while for me to do that. I do have three shadow pods from MAC. It took a while to get on that bandwagon. I just didn't want to go on right away. Why? For what? There's no need to jump on everything everyone says. I watched, the only thing I really truly jumped on immediately was Sedona Lace. I think that was one of my first expensive brushes. After I bought the BH Cosmetics, I, or I did in reverse, I do have Sedona Lace there. I bought the Vortex Collection, 
one of my brushes I really can't use. I think there's two brushes I really honestly don't use from them. But every other brush I do use. I Now that I'm more experienced going into my sixth year, I can say which ones are the best and which ones are not. And I can come back with an up-to-date brush um, re reveal because I do have some brushes that are top-notch everyone should have and I recommend it especially when you want to go into doing shadows also I will be coming back with an how to and we're gonna do one eye the way that God the makeup artist showed me it finally sunk in just using one eye and really trying to show you how to gain that look when you watch all these gurus I want you to I recommend that you get your palette, whatever eyeshadows you're using, and your brushes, and follow step by step what they're doing. Emulate it. You don't have to create the same look, but we wanna use the same techniques. And you wanna definitely use the colors that are blue, that definitely give you a gradient effect and really bring out the pizzazz in your eyes, honestly. And you need to know, like for me, because I always kept my eyes like this, I don't know why, I, I kinda like stretched it out so I'm more hooded than normal. Um, I feel like I am like there's a lot of loose skin here <laughs> I don't understand that and I see why people get surgery and stuff but I'm not gonna fall into that bracket and if I ever do I will let you know <laughs> but it sure as heck will not be anytime soon yeah truly is I already brushed my teeth and clean my face this is gonna be one of those dull mornings because I do have a party to go to. It starts at seven o'clock and I'm meeting the person there. So I need to get there by six, which means I have to leave here about 5.45 because of the rain. No, I have to be there by six. Uh, party starts at seven. That's when the doors open. There's gonna be a line. So I am gonna be there by six o'clock, six-ish. Um, I have to leave here about 5.30ish, something like that, to be over there. Um, which means my makeup has to start getting... I have to do my makeup at 3 o'clock. Basically, I take my time. I don't like to rush. And I need to figure out what I'm going to wear to this party. So I don't know what to wear, what my makeup look is going to consist of, what colors. And I will be wearing my contacts for that, not my glasses. Not unless I feel like just doing my brows and leaving it and just putting a lip and just coming like, what? No. For my friend, it depends on how bad it's raining. That's, but more than likely, I will be wearing a face. I'll be on fleek, brows and everything done, and I would just need an umbrella. Go figure. Oh my goodness, the rain is coming. What are you up to today? And what is your plan for Memorial Day? For Memorial Day, I'm staying home. Um, I realized that being on here on YouTube, I have to film, pre-film everything. It is essential. Let me explain to you something. The 30-day challenge, I wanted it to be as authentic as possible. So this is why every day I came home and did a video. Weekends were different. I don't know why it took me so long on the weekends. It should have been one, two, three. However, I realized that even engaging in a new 30-day challenge, I would have to pre-film some of that. So when I'm at the moment, I pre-film segments. That's why, if you ever watch um, video influencers, um, when Sean and Benji talk about how they pack their clothes and do everything, they're filming 10, 20 videos in one day or one weekend when they meet up, they're pre-filming. So that way they have content to put out there and they review their content. You have to be comfortable with watching yourself again. I am confident. Or rather, I am confident in watching myself again. I get a kick out of it, especially if it's something funny. I will sit there and laugh at myself. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm putting this video up. That's what I do. Like this video, Sunday morning chit chat. This is the third, this is the third take. Yeah, the third take. But I did have some ideas that I wrote down of what I should pre-film. And I wanted to share this with you. A skirt, the bathing suit cover-up, a cami and short lounge set based on this, something similar to this on my tank top, my wife beater, making curtains for my bedroom, which would be this, if I left it alone, no painting, just showcasing how to do that, and maybe putting a color in the back since it's see-through to um, give it a contrast. 
So the dark color, dark color in the back, this will be in the front of it, and it will cover that window. I think that would be kind of cool. You let me know below. Makeup looks from Wild Tonight Disco. I was thinking, I was watching my analytics, so I'm going to put post Nick Nimmin's video here in the cards. Watch that video, please. He guides you on how to check your watch time, report your analytics, and see how your videos do, at what point do they drop off, and what is the watch time. Definitely key. You want to know about your watch time. I didn't... I would never... I don't want anyone thinking about that right now because right now we're just creating. It's a soothing moment. It's a peaceful moment. This is our zen moment. We're trying to get past whatever it is and hobbies are essential. But going into my sixth year, I realized looking at my analytics that sewing is key on my channel and that crazy look where I did half crazy, half day. So I'm going to come out with another one. So that's gonna, I can't say when, I don't wanna put a date on it, just I wanna do it again. We have to do that again. And I'm fascinator, so I'ma post a link below to Whitney Souls and her fascinators video. Great video, great easy um, project to do, especially if you're having a ladies day and you wanna do a sip and sew, well then everybody should do like a sip and sew or sip and craft fascinators moment. I think that would be a great theme. And you make your own hats. I don't know if anyone watches RuPaul's Drag Race, but Angina is good for wearing fascinators. Mm -mm. Very easy to create. So easy I didn't finish mine because I was being lazy in a bumpkin. I don't know why I didn't do that. But I want to use what I have in the house and trust that I have stuff that's in the house. Also, this is one of my first Ipsy bags when I first started on YouTube around then. I had this. In here is sparkles. It's for nail art. I want to use this to decorate my moo glasses with. So we have little vials of, you know, confetti and there's glue in there. I also have some E6000 and I thought about doing a video on that as well. We have to create content and I see that crafting on my channel is key and also that crazy look so I have to come back with another nice day neutral look and then the rest is crazy like a disco night um, anything and why not create that why not I see that is doing well on my watch time people like that so why not go back into it and do a second look we can do a crazy one why not uh, I can do that with that being said, I want everyone to just have a great day, a calm, soothing day. And if you have any ideas of what your channel should be or what you want to do or what you want to bring to the table, start writing them down. This was what Brittany bought me. She gave it to me as a gift. And this was during my first time when I took the YouTube Space classes. Amazing people that I met. Amazing. So you want to write that down you want to pre-film so not to stress yourself out about content and I've watched time the infamous and video influencers and everybody else and they literally let you know you gotta even makeup junkie G from the UK you gotta pre-film you have to pre-film especially if you're not available that's right with that being said, I want to have everybody to have a beautiful Memorial Day. And my prayers and my heartfelt thoughts and, and spirit goes out to the service men and women who have died for our country, protecting us, keeping us safe all of these years. And they're still doing so right now. And they're surviving even through all of this stuff and dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder. I want to send my heartfelt thank you to all the service men and women who have died who have come back, who are here. Thank you so much for serving our country. My gratitudes and appreciation are there. Everyone have a great day.